Two clubs here each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. second down but you talk about the defense for these chargers they are number two in the nfl against the run right now charles we know it's only week one but the results are pretty good so far the key is can they do it week in and week out because right now they're not awarding any championships or trophies after one week of performance got some nice young faces playing for them let's see if they can get this going and he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19 yard line It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Back to throw. Black. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down, San Francisco. The pick up, 14 yards. It's a pretty nice throw right there from the rookie. And this, of course, is game number two of his NFL career. His guys did not get the win, Charles, in the opener. But what did you see from him last week? Well, I think all things considered, he played pretty well. And I don't think I pinned the loss on him. But there's no question, this is a learning process. And that was step one. And he's hoping on the road to glory. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit. But let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Looking to throw. Black. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Niners had 0-1 of the year following the loss in the opener. And they were given a gift to two straight home games to start the campaign. Dropped one of them already. You have to figure a split of these two probably imperative. And they did talk about that with us prior to the game, about how important it is to start the season 1-1, one one, especially with two games at home. Because if you go 0-2, hard to make those up on the road as the season progresses. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Oh boy, Christian McCaffrey shaken up. So hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here is third down and four. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. A nice little juke. And they'll get this well past midfield before they stop just before the 35. 25 yards that time. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with it or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. And defensively, these corners struggled last week. They're struggling again here early on the opening drive. And you know that was not unnoticed on tape. So when they saw their struggle last week, 
Guaranteed that went right into the game plan. Attack them early, see if they're going to play any better. And if not, you keep the pressure on them until things change. Now this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. All right, they didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. But he returns it into enemy territory, down to the 45-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Debo going in motion left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Looking to throw on second down. Black firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and it's third down. When you talk about the defense for these Chargers, they are number two in the NFL that gets a run right now, Charles. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants him to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to there on the play and that's going to bring up a fourth down it's fourth down so coming on now is the field goal unit they're going to try for three and he'll need all the leg he's got here they'll spot it at the 47 so call it a 57 yard attempt and this is good from 57 yards out Charles and now they add three more with the 
field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger drive about to get going. They find themselves down here after an interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. But all in all, you'd have to say fortunate to be only down six. Yeah, and you know how teams huddle on the sideline before they come out on the field in between series? Guaranteed what's said there is, guess what, guys? We take this ball and move it down to put in the end zone. We're right back to even. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Here's Herbert. Oh, and that is incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big fella go. And finally wrestled down at the 11. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball. One that they want to fix immediately. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Now it's Herbert. That's complete right around the eighth. They'll give him four yards there. And third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Austin Eckler with career touchdown number 128. He's now tied with Marvin Harrison for number nine on the all-time list. And the Chargers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, so they go the conservative route instead, and it gets them a... Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They're kind of searching for that magic elixir. You know, they're moving the football a little bit, but not with any great consistency. I love that term you just used, elixir. Right? <laughs> old school. Old school. I love that. Because you don't want to put too much pressure on your defense as well. All right? If you're kicking field goals, that's great. But your defense has to keep going out there and holding the other team. You're not giving them any cushion to work with, and that gets tougher and tougher as the game goes along. Put the ball in the end zone and get sixes. That's the ambrosia that they're looking for. <laughs> ambrosia and trying to erase this deficit. After one, a one-point game, seven to six.
throwing on first down. Black. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. At the 36-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. A right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Flushed out right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. They snap it to Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. On first down, it's Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Here's Herbert once more. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. As his guys are... Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offensive coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe something up. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And they pitch it to Eckler. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Darius Davis, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake. Black. His throw incomplete. And this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Now second and three. Back to throw. Black. Touchdown, San Francisco. From 19 yards away. And the Niners are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Now the 49ers electing to leave the offense out there and go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Chargers take over first down again. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And this will be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Are things looking much rosier for him here in week two? They work with the lead as they've got it first and ten. Herbert's this throw taken in by Johnston. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Go. 
On second down, Eckler. No gain on that one as it brings up the third and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, they have that one slipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to... Trying to Bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they will bottle him up behind the line and now will they use a timeout. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Davis now to return it. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Charger drive about to get going. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. He's got his man on the crossing route. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Herbert on first down now. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around. 
an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Hey, Ray, 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 Ray. Now a toss, running left, Eckler. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Steps away. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Pulled in at the 24. Powering his way forward. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They'll send the tight end in motion left. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. they got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he's going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Black. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. 36 yards on the play. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And they will score. It's a 49 touchdown. Touchdown number 50. And the Niners are back within a score. Moody good with the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Chargers. Now for the point after. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This is caught on the right flag. And he gets in. And no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? 
And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. And he'll go down the mountain for getting this inside the 30. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. First down, here's White. rushing touchdown on the year and the 49ers have cut it back within a score Moody good with the extra point and the lead will shrink to six out there now to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another big gainer, two in succession, as this one goes for 32. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? The stretcher right there turned it into a really nice game. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Herbert changing things up. Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert, he'll get this out wide to Eckler. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Jet sweep as he taps it forward. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Fred Warner. And into the end zone. A turns into six points the other way disastrous and many people think you should just go ahead and knock 